a game or playing is, a, is, a, is an aspect of being a human and uh, entertaining ourselves is something that we need on a daily basis. This year is our 25th uh, anniversary and uh, we are about maybe 1,500 to 1,600 students uh, strong and uh, well the curriculum at DigiPen is uh, divided into uh, currently 10 degrees I, I believe and we actually teach from uh, an undergraduate level to a um, graduate level and we are introducing soon a PhD level as well, a doctorate level. Some pretty impressive projects from some of the undergraduates here at the world's first gaming university. But now DigiPen is blazing a new trail entirely, opening its doors to a younger generation of potential game changers. We are opening a, um, a complete uh, solution from K to 12 as well, from kindergarten to 12. Well, obviously we will not be playing games, but making a game is a series of problem-solving events that needs to happen. And at the same time, it presents the kids with a, with a product that they have to finish. You see, many of the projects at school, when you go to a school, every, even the best schools, you'll see that the product that these kids are, are working on are never finished, never polished. So the kid will never witness in you know, 18 years of their life something really polished, which is, in my opinion, is a, is a sad situation. What would you say to people who say that kids play too many games, they're involved with games and computers too much as it is anyway? If you think just a game that, oh, it's a waste, I mean, my kids are wasting time at home and that's, they play game all the time, then I tell you, you're not going out enough with your kids, right? And you're not actually giving them enough attention. So you just put them in the corner, buy them a game, and blame me because actually I did my good job and you, you, know, you paid $40 for this game and I gave you a fantastic product that nobody can put down and you come blaming me. So I would say that if, if the students, if the kids would like to utilize video games to actually learn the sciences and the physics and the history, and, I mean, because if you create a game about history, you teach history, and the kids will listen to you and they will be involved and they will be, you know, interactively doing the job with the teacher and so forth. Why not?